in part one of air replay ng we have seen the usage of air replay ng what all filter options are available and what all injection or replay options available with air replay ng in this video we are going to see some attack vectors how to use those attacks when to use those attacks and how exactly those attacks will assist cracking the web key let's start with the attacks itself rather than to explain all the things first let's do the practical example first and then i will explain why that attack is so important let's start with the first attack that is d auth attack so as you know you can use the filter options to filter the capture packets and you can use replay options to replay the packets so these are the filter options supported by air replay ng and these are the replay options supported by air replay ng first is d auth attack the d auth attack will send d authentication packets now to launch this attack i have to use minus 0 it says minus 0 so i have to use minus 0 to select d authentication attack and then i have to select the interface i am currently using a thros based card and i have put my interface at 0 in monitor mode with the help of airmon ng how to put your interface in monitor mode you can see the video of airmon ng on securitytube.net the beauty of air replay ng is it actually parses your options and it will ask the remaining or the required options for launching that attack so if now i re if now i hit enter it is saying invalid d authentication count or missing value our option should be d authentication and then count so i am saying say 10000 packets i want to see it is saying you should enter the bss id currently i have uh, copied my bss id it is 001346 c4b214 so i have now provided bss id and interface at 0 and now air replay ng is successfully sending d authentication packets with bss id 1346 c4b214 now when we don't give any specific option air replay ng will keep on sending broadcast d authentication packets that is the packet will be broadcasted the destination mac will be all ff if i want to send unicast d authentication packet i have to use replay option with the destination mac minus c and the actual mac so if i send this packets as with destination mac as 0015001a this is actually my client's mac the targeted packets will be sent currently a ping is going on from the client let's start this packets and let's see the ping now incidentally ping has stopped let me stop the attack i have stopped the attack and ping has again resumed let's do it once more i am launching the attack d authentication attack with giving bss id and client's mac i have launched the attack let's see the ping ping has stopped again i will stop the attack have stopped and ping has resumed why is this happening why is this happening actually air replay ng is sending some d authentication packets from ap to client and from client to ap and due to these packets the client is d authenticated client again tries to re authenticate when i stop the attack and ping resumes the interesting question is why one would like to de authenticate the client from the ap while cracking the web key many times we need to capture the association hand handshake what do i mean by association handshake i want to capture the association request response and authentication request response packets so that i will be able to see the credentials of ap and client if ap is using shared key authentication i want to use some different attack vector and to do so i have to first de authenticate the client with the help of air replay ng and this de auth attack i will be able to de authenticate the client 
and client will re-authenticate and in that re-authentication process, I will be able to see all the credentials of the association. 